concept of reading is is way beyond our like general understanding of the term and to put it in your words even the gamut of reading is something that is quite different and unique so i would actually like to know like in your opinion or in your words how would you ac- exactly define reading like what is reading see for me reading should be an opportunity to grow and growth primarily comes by changing ourselves now by changing i do not mean only your physical stuff change what change your opinions change your beliefs change your assumptions change your ideologies change your thoughts yeah change your mindset change your approach towards things people and the world in general see change is the only constant mahatma gandhi uh, ji has said this i believe growth is there in our change yeah the moment we say that no i'll not change this so we have stopped our growth yeah so uh, <coughs> i think the my my motto is if i'm not reading i'm not changing and if i'm not changing i'm not growing and because this is the foundation belief system on which the whole of mission make india read stands on yeah uh, you asked about the definition although i do not have the authority to give a dictionary definition to reading as such but my own uh, so called crude way of uh, defining reading is that uh, reading means understanding the reading and comprehension are not two different things people say na you read so fast and what about your comprehension this question should not arise because reading is comprehension if i read without understanding it's not reading it is looking it is looking at the black symbols on the white paper right so if reading means understanding comprehension means understanding understanding is primarily thinking right and thinking means visualization hmm. yeah imagination yes yeah so reading primarily evokes your imagination power okay. you create your own world imagination means seeing things that do not exist hmm. and this is the power given only to human beings you know no other animal can imagine <laughs> we are the luckiest species in the animal kingdom yeah so reading and imagination are directly correlated and hence i also listening yeah and hence i i dis- i discourage most of the people to watch videos uh, of of dramas or movies i will give full marks to reading and listening but not so many to watching because when you watch a tv serial or or a movie your imagination shuts down you become a zombie you become a stupid guy who is just watching what's being shown on the screen so many people had this obvious expectation that the next step for me from audio will be video summaries but no i'll not do that because when i watched harry potter in the theaters i was so disappointed that my harry potter was so different from that one he was not that handsome the jadoo was also different on which he flew yeah so i had my own uh, world of harry potter right? and that 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 is very important albert einstein had nicely said in his biography that knowledge is not power imagination is power every innovative thing around you aryan was a piece of imagination in somebody's head and later on after lots of iteration it got manifested in the real world the first step is imagination imagination leads to curiosity curiosity in turn uh, gives birth to innovation yeah